I'm so excited. I hope they can see that. They can't. Hey, what's good guys? My name is Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look on a reissue of the Ronnie Kragers. These things are so cool, man. And they're kind of a pro tro on top of that. Like they're not like the original, even though they look just like the original. This is what I've been wanting this brand to do because I've been buying a lot of their reissues, but most of them have different tooling than the original shoes. And you guys already know, I don't like that. I like original stuff. I don't mind if you pro tro it or, or upgrade it, but it's got to look the same. <clears throat> The original shoe released right around the 1998-1999 time frame. There were a few different, you know, original colorways and stuff. This is one of them. This was used in the original ad campaigns. Wow. These guys right here are not quite like the originals, even though they really do look a whole lot like the originals. I really wish that we can get some more original colorways. Hopefully they sold well enough to enable them to be able to do that. So far, only two colorways have released. It's this one, and then there's a black with kind of like a yellow or neon. I can't tell. I did pre-order both, and they're just not here. I had to actually grab these from somewhere else because the place that I pre-ordered them from just hasn't fulfilled the order yet, which was unfortunate because the fact that I did pre-order them means that I did not go after them on release day that means that these are my size nine which is my normal shoe size but for skate shoes i always have to go up at least a half a size because of all the padding that's in there they're just really tight and so as soon as i put these on i was kind of like oh man i hope that they fit and i mean i can get my foot in there but i'm not doing anything in these like my toes are at the edge bro and it's but anyways, S is one of my favorite uh, just skate shoe brands in general. I think that they have some of the coolest original designs, especially when you go back to that late 90s era of skate where everything really started to pop off. They had all the guys, man. They had Eric Costin, Burnquest, Muska, and then they got Krieger and everything. They had everybody, man. It was basically like damn near the whole Tony Hawk lineup. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Here I am everything I can. You're welcome. You're getting older all the time. Look at all that gray hair, man. She changed, <laughs> she changed the words and yes, they match my beard. It's fine. I own it. It's all good. But anyways, the outsole is damn near like the original. It looks awesome. I don't know if this is exactly what I would do on a skate shoe currently, especially because skaters nowadays prefer way different stuff than what this stuff was back in the 90s and early 2000s. This features a rubber cup sole, believe it or not, which is super weird because I thought that originally the midsole was polyurethane and everything, which again, I don't even know if that's the original tech specs. This was a shoe that I wanted a lot, but could not get. I could not afford shoes back then, back in the 90s and stuff. I didn't get a job until, or an official job, until a little bit later. I think it was a junior in high school and these came out right before that. So. So this shoe right here features a really hefty rubber cup sole. So all of this is one giant piece of rubber. However, where they change things up is that inside of that cup sole or rubber, like they change it to where it is a cup sole. So it's not just a solid piece of rubber and stuff. It's actually hollowed out kind of like an old basketball shoe or a Kobe. Inside of that is an EVA midsole, which is crazy. So this whole rubber cup sole right here is just filled up with foam. And then in the back, you can obviously see that there is, you know, an air unit in there. And I've always found that to be fascinating because believe it or not, Nike he didn't create the air unit it was somebody else and then they licensed it out to nike much like boost like boost wasn't created by adidas if anything the company that created boost licensed it out to puma first puma just took their sweet ass time getting market and adidas came in and swooped it up and did their whole thing and so now adidas is known for boost even though it was licensed to somebody else first good old competition man you gotta love it but yeah this air unit right here does not feel like og skate shoe air units where like they were really hard firm plastic and the uh the air pockets usually felt dense as fuck. this one feels more like a nike product you can actually press it it's soft it feels really comfortable on foot so yeah whatever they did to beef these things up for modern day even though they're still heavy and clunky i think that that some people will like them a lot. Speaking of skating, I, I don't skate anymore. I used to skate back in the day. I'm too old for that stuff, man. Like just the rocking, because there's no shocks or anything like that. When I'm done riding with my kid, I always feel like I got hit by a truck or something. So what I end up using nowadays is this gorgeous ass thing. This is a long board. It's a cruiser board, so it's not super long, but there's different types of boards and stuff. This one's actually really expensive, but it's because it's really, really nice. This is made by a company called Deviate. It's a small business. It's like one dude. What he's done is he's taken all the stuff that he loves about skating and surfing and combined it into all of his designs so all of his stuff is actually handmade by him and you can either do custom orders or you can just buy the stuff that's already pre-made which is what i got right here and again this is their cruiser board i think that this thing is hella fun like this goes kick, push, kick. 
you wanted to check them out, we'll have a direct link down below in the description box. I think that these are freaking awesome. But anyways, the insole is also EVA. This is not the best insole in my opinion, but it is for obviously breathability with all these perforations and stuff. But also what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow a little bit of compression. So you're getting a little more step in comfort. The downside is that you'll pack it down pretty quickly. So if you wanted to switch this out for anything, you can. I am actually impressed that there's an arch support piece because normally we don't get that kind of stuff, especially if you're gonna compare it to basketball. We don't get any of this. This is a, a decent insole, not a great insole, but it's decent. They also come with extra laces and everything too. So if you don't like the stock gray laces, you can switch them out to the red. The uh, materials on this particular colorway are all suede. I think that it looks nice. It's actually decent suede as well. It's gonna catch the grip tape of the board really well. It should last a decent amount as well, especially this rubber cup sole right here. This is actually like a really hard, what they call 400 NBS rubber. So it's just a really durable cup sole. But on top of that, they actually have the uh, toe ran that's made out of TPU there. Also, before I forget, there are reflective hits right there underneath the toe and then right here at the collar and I think that was it but for anybody that you know loves that kind of thing especially if you like skate in the evening and everything on your way home from work there you go now underneath all of the suede is just mesh typical especially for back in the day it's a lightweight material it's breathable doesn't require a ton of break in time the entire tongue is made out of it as well speaking of this tongue look at this thing talk about beefcake holy sh that is awesome. One of the funniest parts though is this little pull tab right there in the back. It's not funny looking or anything like that, but it was the description of it. That was to catch your baggy ass pants when you're skating. Mm, nice. Right? Everybody knows, man, when you wear those big old pants, they'll have a big hole right here in the back from dragging or skating or whatever it is that you're doing. But this might be able to save them just a little bit of time. Now, like I was saying earlier, as far as sizing is concerned, when it comes to skate shoes, I typically go up half a size. So if you've never owned a pair of skate shoes before, whatever you typically wear or whatever you measure at, go up at least a half a size minimum. I'm telling you, there's a lot of just stuffing in this shoe all over the place. This is a skate shoe. It's supposed to protect your foot from, you know, skateboards and shit like that. So just be warned. If you do wear skate shoes and you have a wide foot, that's something that I actually have no clue what you guys do. I'm assuming that you go up a full size, but feel free to let us know down below in the comment section what you prefer in your skate shoe like feel or fit and things like that. I do know that the, the newer skate shoes fit way different. They're way more slim. These ones, they feel tight, but they're not. They're very, very bubbly, if that's the word. Heavily padded. Heavily padded is it. But again, I recommend going up half a size minimum and you should be good to go. And that pretty much takes care of it. This is one of my favorite pickups of the year so far. I just, I love this stuff so much. I, I really hope that more original colorways, if those white and navies come out, man, it's over. But sound off below, let us know what you think about the S Craigers down below in the comment section. We would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you're still here. You guys are awesome. And with that being said, we will see you on the next one. So until then, have a good one.